10 months ago, a friend and I decided we wanted to buy a school bus and turn it into a schoolie or an RV. So we bought a full length school bus, completely gutted, and the first step that we wanted to do, or the first thing, was to actually raise the roof and then paint this bad boy. So we raised it 16 inches, we're able to put new sheet metal on, prime the entire bus, paint it, so that the exterior was completely done and finished, so we could move on to the interior. In those 10 months, a lot has happened, and that's why I want to give you guys an update of where we're at with the bus. And that's where we are now, 10 months later. So, let me give you a recap of what the bus looks like, and when our projected time to finish this thing is. One of the first things you can notice is that the ceiling inside of the bus is about 90% complete. Most of the trim work is up along the edges where it meets the cabinets and the walls. There's just a few more trim pieces that need to be added up in the front here along these cabinets. If we look at the front up here, we notice that the loft finally has a foundation or a floor, I guess you could say, that the bed is going to rest on. You can see the wire here, there'll be two lights up here and there'll be a switch over on the side here on this little wall section right above where the driver's seat is. Uh, there is outlets up there as well, 110 and 12 volt outlets on both sides so that you can plug in your laptop or your phone to charge anything if you're laying or sleeping up in this area. Not much has really changed in the area where the driver's and passenger seat is. I'm focusing on that area last. There's going to be carpet down here, but I did make some few adjustments on where the screen is going to be placed and some switches along in the cockpit area. Now, moving along, we have this section here underneath the couch and most of the electrical components are in here. The last thing that we're going to need uh, is the MPPT charger for the solar and the batteries to actually use and power the system. But the issue with the batteries is right now I don't really live in the bus so it's kind of cold so we're not going to actually buy the batteries because I don't want anything happening to them. So we're going to wait until it warms up a little bit, get the batteries and finish the electrical system. We do have the LED strips underneath the cabinets up in the front area and I did add them to the bathroom but we'll look at that in a second. We have the countertops that we did a couple weeks ago. We just used some epoxy resin on them and made a kind of unique design to make them look like they were marble. I think they came out great, they look nice. And along with that, we did the white subway tile backsplash where we will add black grout in the future. But I wanna make sure I get all the tile work done in the bus so that when I'm doing the grout, it's very easy to just go from one section to the other without having to mix up the grout multiple times. Then across on the other side, we have the refrigerator like we talked about before with a freezer on top. And above that is where all of the actual components to check the water levels, to check the battery power, to check the temperature of the hot water heater, and then also the thermostat for the bus itself. So next to that is the bathroom. This is one of the newer things that we completed here in the bus. We have the cabinet here. We made a small countertop. It doesn't have the one and a half inch lip. I didn't think that it needed it for this small section right here, but we do have the sink itself. It's not secure, but this is the tiny little sink that you'll be using inside the bus. We continue the same tile from the kitchen and living area into the bathroom here. And then I thought it would look very cool. I had some LED strips left over to put it underneath a vanity and kind of light up this area a little bit better. We do have the toilet here. It is not in or secure. There is a fill right here next to the toilet itself to fill up or flush the water through the toilet. Right past there is where the washer and dryer, as you can see, it's plumbed behind there. Moving along that same side, we finally put some walls up in the shower. We're gonna use some red guard to make sure everything's fully waterproof. We're gonna add a lip in the front and then we're gonna use some dry pack to actually slope the floor into the drain itself. We also got the tile for the floor itself. It's a honeycomb style and I got a very, very good deal on it. So the shower base itself, the tile, it only cost me about $20 for all the tile that I need. And in the back section right here, we have the bed. It finally has a platform. We built a frame for it and you'll be able to lift it up and it'll be secure in place with some actuators so that you can access the tanks and the plumbing system and also the filters for the water system in the back. Back here you can see the ceiling is finally done as well. We have the two cabinets on both sides that have the LED strips underneath as well as the LED strips inside when you open the cabinet doors. There'll be two switches on this wall right here for the under lights of the cabinet as well as the two lights in the ceiling. And moving along here we have the other side of the bus which is the closet area. There will be a pole up here for you to hang all of your clothes and then three drawers underneath for folded clothes. Then right next to that, which is kind of an area where I'm just putting some extra stuff right now, this will be another storage area. I'm not sure what to put here, but for right now we're just going to close it in and kind of decide later what exactly we want to put there. 
In the last video you saw this section right next to it, which is gonna be a pull-out pantry. That's not done yet, but the next step in the bus is to actually start building all of the drawers for the cabinets in the bus. And then right next to that, as we saw before, is the finished kitchen area. The last thing to do is obviously put the cabinets in and the cabinet faces to kind of finish and close off this area. There are some things on the outside of the bus that I didn't show you before. Um, it's a little cold out, so most of the stuff we're doing is inside of the bus. We did mount the propane tanks underneath the uh, rear drive tires, and then we also mounted this light bar in front, which is very, very, very bright. Here's a video of what it looks like when it's powered at night. It's extremely bright, and I think it'll be um, a good addition to the bus if we're going through dark campsites or dark trails at night. So that is kind of the update on the bus where we're at 10 months in, hoping to be done it in another two months. There's not a whole lot that needs to be done, just a lot of small, tedious things things. So in the upcoming videos, we'll focus on them and focus on finishing this bus in the next two months. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.